the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, Jurd, formerly known as the Millennium Dam, is under construction in the Benishangal Gumas region of Ethiopia, on the Blue Nile River, which is located about 40 kilometers east of Sudan. The project is owned by Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation, EPCO. Construction of the Grand Renaissance Dam started in April 2011. The people and government of Ethiopia are funding the project, which will not only serve Ethiopia, but Sudan and Egypt as well. The latter two countries depend on the Nile River for their water, although 85% of the river flows in Ethiopia. The dam's construction is expected to create up to 12,000 jobs. Approximately 20,000 people will be resettled during the course of the project. The reservoir and dam will offer major benefits to Ethiopia, Egypt, and Sudan. Egypt has for a long time held the major ownership of the water from the Nile River and prevented Ethiopia from constructing a dam. Egypt depends on the Nile for 90% of its water needs. The Tripartite Committee was formed in January 2012 to promote understanding and look into the benefits and impacts the project would have on the three countries. Noting that the three states have undertaken sustained efforts to enhance cooperation on transbandary water resources, was recalled that, in 2015, they signed the Agreement on Declaration of Principles, in which they committed to cooperation, equitable and reasonable water resource use. They also agreed to settle any disputes peacefully and pledged to work under the auspices of the African Union on outstanding issues of the negotiations. With an expected capacity of 6,000 MW, the main and saddle dams will also create reservoirs with an impounding capacity of 74 billion cubic meters. The dam will be capable of handling a flood of 19,370 cubic meters per second, will reduce alluvium in Sudan by 100 million cubic meters, and also facilitate irrigation of around 500,000 hectares of new agricultural lands. It will also reduce approximately 40 kilometers of flooding in Sudan upon its completion. The main dam will be 145 meters high and 1,780 meters long. The reservoir, with a surface area of 1,680 meters square at full supply level (FSL), will be formed in the middle section of the dam between the left and right banks. Gated spillways fitted with six radial gates will be located on the left side of the main dam, each gate will have a capacity to discharge 2,450 mq per second of water, a probable maximum flood, occurrence. The saddle dam supporting the main dam will be 4,800 meters long and 45 meters high. It will have an emergency side spillway to discharge water directly into the Rose Ayers Reservoir. The two outdoor power stations, with installed capacities of 3,750 MW and 2,250 MW, will be located on either banks of the river. The powerhouses include 16 generating units of 375 MW each. Ethiopia has completed the filling of a massive controversial dam on the Blue Nile River for a second year, state media has said, a move that is likely to anger Egypt and Sudan, who have long opposed the project. Both countries have called for a binding legal arrangement before dam operations begin, but attempts at mediation have failed raising concerns that tensions could rise following the most recent announcement. The second filling of the Renaissance Dam has been completed and the water is overflowing Seleshi Bekali, Ethiopia's Minister for Water, Irrigation and Energy said. It means we have now the needed volume of the water to run the two turbines, he said on Twitter. Although conflict over the allocation of the waters of the Nile River has existed for many years, the dispute, especially that between Egypt and Ethiopia, significantly escalated when the latter commenced construction of the dam on the Blue Nile in 2011.